In this review, we're going to be taking a close and detailed look at the beautiful Angel Engine from APC Toys. Let's go! This is possibly the best depiction of RC from Transformers Prime since the first edition release. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. <laughs> What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman here. Welcome, one and all, to another episode of Teletran Reviews, baby. I am excited for this one. This is the one I have been waiting for for a while. It is finally here. Before I begin, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Shozy Store for supporting me with this product for review. If you guys don't know about them, it's a beautiful website with a bunch of different Transformers products and also Marvel and some other franchises. So if you're interested, I have the link in the description box below for this video and others this is probably one of my most anticipated reviews in a long time this is the angel engine production rc now it's obviously not named rc because it is a third party character or it's not officially licensed by hasbro but we all know who this represents and what show it's from this was kind of a surprise for a lot of us most of us didn't expect it it wasn't really very marketed that much until they actually started releasing the the photos and the confirmation and then the in-hand photos began to drop and that's when we really knew this was going to be an awesome release so without further ado let's just get into the review because i just got to show this off this is amazing for the packaging of course i love their packaging and what they've been doing they've definitely improved their packaging over time from the original uh, apc optimus prime this is production angel engine there you go that's what it's called of course you know we know who that is <laughs> beautiful art of her there with the lightning in the background it looks like the like the white uh kind of like an outline of her which is the same thing it's beautiful right there Production Angel Engine is the title. You move it over to this side, and then you obviously have the same shot with the same name. On the back, like most packaging, you have the robot in alt mode. And it's interesting, they call this the engine mode. So <laughs> I guess she's an angel, and then she converts into an engine. <laughs> and then for the hilarious third-party description, transforming fighter with two modes and full actions. <laughs> The same description as in the Crystal Power Optimus Prime. And then here you go. You got her looking over her shoulder. Looking awesome with the little uh, blaster. She's kind of just looking over the shoulder. Looking good. And yeah, I'm a big fan of their packaging. I love it. It's very tiny. I didn't think it would be this small. But the scale actually does work out. And we're going to get into that. So without further ado, let's just jump right in to the figure itself. And here we have the iconic the legendary APC Toys Angel Engine, which is the Transformers Prime RC. This thing is a majesty. It's so well done. I just, I was just captured by how nice she looks, especially given the fact that this has been released around the same time frame as the red RC, the Robot Enhanced Design RC, which does not transform and is full uh, all robot mode with no kibble, but this does an exceptional job with capturing RC and still being able to uh, maintain transformation capabilities. So giving you guys a closer look at this girl, I mean, just beautiful from the top down, I have just been blown away by what they have created here. Giving you guys a full 360, I love this. I love this. And the thing that stands out for me mostly is the paint. You know, you got that beautiful blue paint. It's very, very royal. It really stands out. It's shiny. And it's just so well done. It looks premium just from the glance of it. You got the nice head sculpt there. I mean, I can't ask for a better head sculpt. That is beautiful. She's got like the pink stem on the top of her head. And of course, the little like uh, boat uh, pink there. It looks so good. And their eyes are painted exactly how she was in the series. And I love how she has a little smirk. A little smirk on her face that's really really perfect and then you come down to the arms the arms are really well done the hands are black i believe they're unpainted of course along with the uh like the the the, the top of the arm here this shoulder pad is beautiful it's just beautiful that shine that that glisten really just makes it stand out the chest mode is awesome, I like that. You can kind of adjust these to, you know, your standard, but they do have a good accuracy for the original series. 
nice painting here in the uh, torso section nice blue i mean the feet are really good she stands up very well you just have to like make sure she's balanced she's slightly top heavy because of the kibble on the back but it's not to the point to where she can't pose well i don't think this back is bad at all like at all compared to the original first edition they did make a couple of refinements uh, to the back and the way that it's structured and some of the little features you can add like the little handlebars you can actually fold down um, I, I really like I really like what they've done with the back and I like what they've done with all around the whole design She's an excellent excellent rendition of the Transformers Prime RC. I am so So in love with that turning now to the accessories she comes with I was actually impressed with the accessories that you get with this figure this is the beautiful arm blade that you get. Uh, this is the larger one. It's uh, similar to the one you get with the first edition RC. And they really did a good job with capturing the overall sculpt and detailing. Along with some really nice paint uh, applications there. You got the, uh, the blue plastic. The blue painted plastic here. Looking nice. You got some translucent uh, blue pegs. Uh, they didn't go with the clear. It's like a clear translucent blue. You, you really get the blue going there. And then you got that silver edging here. But what I love about the silver here is the silver is kind of mixed in with some blue. There's like some blue painting in the silver. So it's like mixed together. And that is a really nice gradient that it gives to this uh, particular piece here. She looks great with them as well. And we're going to demonstrate that as well later. She also comes with these awesome blasters these are perfect these are gorgeous i love these these are the blasters the iconic blasters she used throughout the series whenever the time needed for some good gunfire she was there and she never hesitated to use them beautiful silver painting on the edges there you got some silver uh, accents and you got some little pink little uh, uh, applications there as well and then you got some pink on the translucent blue and a lot of the plastic is just a translucent blue plastic and then you have that silver application but you still have that blue gradient similar to how it was on the blade here you see you have that gradient that is very consistent in all of the accessories which I am such a massive fan of and lastly she does also have these a uh, little these little like uh, their, their arm it's like little arm blades so it's it's very similar to uh, these guys but you know it's it's a very uh, size appropriate for her scale it looks more realistic and I believe that she did have these uh, in some parts of the series so these are more series accurate and scale appropriate uh, arm blades and it looks really good on her she has two of those as well it looks really nice I like the point on that I love the edgings of the silver on that and I love the blue plastic there's not not much a gradient I don't think I see any gradient on this one uh, it looks like it's just plain silver here on the edges and then you got the blue but this is a nice touch because I don't believe the original first edition RC has this one so this is pretty cool now I will say uh, to apply uh, the this one here you can actually use either peg she has a peg on her arm right here which is this one here and she also has like a circular peg you can peg it into either one and I would normally peg like the sharper end on you know facing the hand so you would normally just uh, kind of aim it like that and you can actually peg this into the circular peg like so and just give it a good push and that actually looks really nice on her she looks awesome with those beautiful beautiful arm blades it's very skill appropriate she looks great in battle it looks like it belongs on her arm it's not too heavy or not too oversized it's just perfect and when she uh, closes her fist you can really see it pop out of course you don't have the option to do it on the figure but in the series she definitely did it very well but you can also remove it and you can also peg it into the uh, the, like the forearm peg here, I would kind of exercise caution with that because what I've noticed is the painting on this figure all around, but especially the arm peg, as you can see, there is some chipping of the paint and that's definitely like a QC third party mistake and it's, it's, it's an issue with the uh, quality of the paint itself. 
So the more you peg into it and peg out of it and peg in, peg out, the more you erode and chip at the paint. So that's something you should do at your own risk. If you don't care <laughs> and you just only want to peg it in once and leave it in there for good, then that's okay. But just exercise a lot of caution and uh, be very careful when you're dealing with this figure as a whole, especially during transformation because of the paint chipping. It, it does do that. And mine, mine did that. I only really pegged it in and out like once once or twice no I like you know I think I'll say maybe three times I pegged it in and out and it's already started doing that so I'm definitely not gonna do that um I left this one <laughs> alone because <laughs> I don't want to keep chipping at the paint so it is an issue I don't know if they're going to fix it but it is something that uh that that I've noticed with this figure and and it's unfortunate but it's still a nice figure overall you just have to keep in mind of those two different uh, issues that they have also to peg this here all you do is you just peg this uh, bottom section into the giant circular peg. That one is pretty self-explanatory. You just give it a nice push and there it goes. And there you have RC with her really big and menacing and damaging arm blades. And these are a really nice touch. It's, it's, a, it, it's basically a play on the first edition RC that we originally got. And they had the blades that were that large. So that way you got that option and the other option for this figure here. I'm a big fan of what that looks like. And it looks so nice on her. It just looks perfect. I mean, without these, I don't think... Uh, you know, this this release would have done it justice, but they definitely included these along with the smaller ones So that's a big a plus for that and lastly to apply the blasters, which I think is my favorite Accessory of all of them when you get it in the packaging it comes with this little black piece that is already in there um, You have a choice you can either pull the black piece out and let it protrude out of her hand which is how she mainly uh, use them or if you would like there is an option where you can take this circular piece and you can peg it under her into the into the underarm like that and give it a slight little push and then she, that way she'll have it like that i mean that doesn't really <laughs> it's weird it's not how she usually use them but it's an option in case you just wanted to like you know have like an underarm cannon that she uses but the normal use that she has uh, with it, what you normally see in the series, and what most people will probably do, you just pull this little black piece straight out like so. Let's see, I'll just pull it out like that. And then there's an open uh, gap in the underside. And the top of the thumb just basically slides into the top of the gun. So you just aim it like that, and you just give it a nice little push, and kind of finesse it in there. Uh, make sure the top of the thumb is at the very top and that's it if there's no snap there's no like you know secure but that's it and she looks beautiful i love that a lot <laughs> i'm a big fan of the blasters oh my goodness this is probably my favorite accessory for this particular figure she looks beautiful i mean the battle the battle scenes rc is nothing without her blasters you gotta have the blasters if you're gonna have rc for transformers prime and they did exceptionally well with the blasters the poses everything you can do with this particular figure is second to none turning now to articulation let's do it this figure actually has a good range of motion so let's go ahead and do that the arms they do come out like this but of course you got the uh, shoulder pad you can move the shoulder pad down a little bit clear it off and then it comes all the way up like that so you just have to finesse that shoulder pad to kind of get it where you want it does come all the way back down and an arm does go all the way around like so you do have some shoulder uh some joint like you know you got up and down like that for the shoulders you got the arm bend and the bend is really nice it's actually a cute angle so it's a lot uh smaller than 90 degrees it does come all the way out and it straightens out a little further back than straight there is a rotation on the arm at the shoulder and it does go all the way around like that and then you have the adjustment at the wrist where you can fold it like this but there is no uh rotation or swivel on the wrist itself which i kind of don't like but it's okay the chest does move up and down but it's not really part of the articulation as much as it is part of the transformation the head sculpt she does look all the way up like this and then all the way down like this 
uh, and then she does go all the way around and you kind of have to finesse her there is some pieces on the back that prevents her from going all the way around but it is possible with the joint it's just there's some obstruction in, in the back but you shouldn't really need to do it all the way back there <laughs> and then the legs come all the way out like this so very nice and then it comes all the way up like this and then it goes all the way back like that which is very cool you know rc is a very flexible transformer especially with all her battle scenes and fights so you gotta do really good with that the knee bend is really really awesome i love that knee bend nice rotation here on the legs at the waist and then the feet i don't believe the feet have any movement at all oh yeah you do you got some toe movement here there we go so that's pretty good i like it there is no waist rotation on oh 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 let's go <laughs> i didn't know that there is waist rotation on the figure as well holy crud that is that's awesome i didn't know that i actually tried before but i guess i didn't like rotate hard enough and uh, i didn't think she could do it but she can do it so she's very flexible range of motion is amazing apcrc is a killer release and now finally for the comparison segment i am excited for this one i actually have a jack character for transformers prime and i just love that i have the human characters as well because they look so perfect so of course i'm gonna put her with jack i mean jack and rc it's just perfect it's a trademark and they actually scale great together i mean jack and rc we all know it's the pair uh and they they just they were amazing together they had a lot of awesome adventures and they developed a really good relationship over the course of the series and it's really awesome that there are some figurines of the human characters to pose with the actual uh, Transformer. It really, it really brings the the whole entire presentation to life when you have the human characters there. So I'm extremely impressed by the scale of Jack and how he looks with RC. Then I will bring in the Transformers Prime APC Crystal Power Optimus Prime, which is the same scale as the particular, uh, you know, whether you get the 2.0 or the 1.0 version. There is, it just doesn't matter. They're all. Uh, the same uh, size and then I will bring in the original Transformers Prime Ratchet here just to kind of give you a sense of scale straighten them out a little bit there we go so I mean so far so good I don't really have much complaints and lastly I will bring in the big dog Megatron actually I'll have to put him behind Optimus because of how tall he is there you go you got Megatron Optimus, RC, Ratchet, and the one and only Jack. This is a beautiful lineup. All together, they look great. RC versus Megatron is a killer display option. Those two together, they definitely went at each other quite a few times in the series. And it's awesome to finally have some scale-appropriate, really awesome figures to show off those particular battle scenes. That's a very exciting thing. And if you don't have any of those other figures to understand the sense of scale, I will just bring in a Voyager class Optimus Prime from Studio Series. Something that I know a lot of people have. So that shows you exactly what the size looks like, how tall she she is and that was one thing that i noticed that what kind of shocked me when i got her in person because online the pictures and everything they all look like she's much bigger so i was expecting a little bigger of a figure and when she got in physically i was like whoa this is tiny but when you compare to other characters and the scalability you'll see that it works out and so it actually is a fair scale for her but overall oh my goodness i i, I mean i know that there is you know the issue with the painting and that chipping and you got to be careful with that there is an issue with like some of the little joints popping out because it's not really that sturdy she is a little thin and she is a little uh fragile there's an issue with that sure but as a whole as a display quality she is just exceptional i really don't have a lot of complaints i mean the painting is beautiful and the detail is there it is an improvement from the first edition you get additional accessories all of the stuff just looks great and our you know i mean apc just has been knocking it out of the park with these beautiful releases and i am just blown away at how 
excellently accurate these figures have coming out to be. Hopefully they come out with a 2.0 RC where they make some additional refinements and maybe add some more accessories. We'll see. Um, but as as for now, I really I really like the way that she came out. And just for giggles, I'll go ahead and add uh, Miko and Raph to go to go ahead and just complete the human cast there. I mean that's just gorgeous, man. I mean that that just really just that's that's perfect. And here she is in the absolutely gorgeous alt mode. I gotta say, this right here is the absolute most accurate alt mode that I've ever seen in a Transformers uh, RC. To give you guys a close look, here you go. This is a beautiful uh, alt mode. I mean, you got the same overall consistency with the paint here with the uh, overall blue. It's almost like a royal indigo, and I noticed that there are two shades of blue if you look at the actual front of the motorcycle here. You got some nice painting here in the rims also. You got some silver applications and some blue. You got the pink uh, stripes here. Very accurate to her uh, actual depiction in the series. Here we have the front of the motorcycle with the handlebars. You got the two little gears and they're actually painted silver, which I think is a really nice touch. They didn't have to do because most of this portion here is all black, but you do have some silver applications there. A translucent clear plastic for the front window and just an overall great aesthetic. As you can see right here in this little section here, you do see a little bit of paint chipping on the black, which I've seen with the blue portion and now there is more on the black here. So there are some sections of the figure that is very fragile in terms of keeping the paint uh, consistent all around. Uh, it just was not a very professionally done paint job. It was most likely rushed and you can see the result of that here on the black section and this is where the uh, subject would sit. And this is actually pretty cool though. I actually like the overall aesthetic of her. You can see the legs obviously in this section here. And then you got the kickstand which does kick back if you wanted to actually display something for stop motions if you wanted to actually roll. Uh, and you can actually use the kickstand for the display like that. And for weapon storage, uh, you are able to add the little uh, blades here. So you just have the two picks here with the two holes here and you just align those two and give it a nice push and they will peg in as they should and that's awesome that's exactly how we've seen the first edition version and in many cases uh in this series you do have that there and there you have it you have rc with her side blades attached to the motorcycle mode and it actually is extremely accurate and compared to the first edition it's most certainly worth it i will say that is one of the best versions that we've seen and i'm extremely impressed uh, by that so then of course i'm gonna add little jack i mean that's his that's his motorcycle and uh them together obviously holds a lot of sentimental value in the series they were a great team especially when she was uh, in pursuit and he was there especially in the beginning of the series when we saw jack riding her and uh she kind of had to dodge some decepticons and we saw that initial fight scene in the beginning versus the two vehicons uh, so this is a great depiction of the two different characters there. I do have the Transformers Prime Ratchet to show you a bit of size comparison and how it basically converts. Now I will say because Ratchet is an ambulance and RC is a motorcycle, you can definitely see how she's a little bit oversized from this right here. It doesn't really seem to match up with scale he would have to be just a slightly bigger so hopefully if apc does release a ratchet they will release a scale appropriate ratchet and in alt mode you'll be able to see that reflected there but overall i am absolutely impressed i i just have to say this is one of the best depictions of rc if not the best alongside the first edition version uh from what it sounds like they may possibly be working on a bulkhead and who's to say they won't go for bumblebee knockout you know finish off the rest of the character line I mean the sky's the limit they have all of the options and they do have first edition versions of the character to go along to kind of give them some inspiration on how they would move forward and refine their new releases she's perfect for anyone who's collecting the Transformers Prime characters and for me especially being that I was born and raised in love with the series I am super super impressed and I think Josie Store and APC 
for bringing this to us and uh, really blessing our 2021. I will also encourage you guys to check the Shozy Store website where I do have the link in the description. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, drop a like on it. And by all means, this is Alfonso, and I will catch you in the next one. Till all are one.